Hi everybody, I'm Judy with the White Pigeon Township Library and today I'm with Shelly McBride. We are at Central Elementary and most of you probably know that Shelly is the principal here. But she also does a really, um, heads up a really neat program here in our community called the Fresh Food Initiative. And that's what we're gonna talk a little bit about today. Um, I have heard of this, but I don't know how it works and I know it's a, a wonderful thing. Just tell me when it got started and a little bit of general information about sure. it. So thank you for having me here with you. Um, the Fresh Food Initiative got started actually by Carrie Erlinson, okay. um, and that was in August of 2018. So we are coming up on four years this coming August, and it's a monthly initiative um, to get free fresh food out to our community. And um, we have been consistently every month uh, giving out around um, 175 wow. boxes, yes, to our community members. And um, it's just a great um, you know, thing that we are doing with the community. And it actually also gives a lot of opportunities for volunteer okay. organizations. I was gonna ask you about that yeah. too. So. so where does the food come from? Um, how sure. does it get to you? And where do you distribute it? So um, we order from the Southwest Michigan Food Bank. I see. Yes, and so uh, from there, they, we do our, we currently have um, all of our distributions at the um, high school, mm -hmm. at the parking lot here in White Pigeon. And um, we do it on the fourth Tuesday of every month. And um, so that's that's how, that's the, the how you, you get your food. It's, you, just, right. you just show up. You don't have to. You do. So you yep. just show up and get yep. in line. And yes, that's correct. In the line. Your, yes. your box. I'm yes. assuming it's a box of food. Yes. What kind of things would people expect to find in that? It varies every every month. All right. So depending on what you get from the yep. food bank. Yes. So um, there's anything from bakery items to eggs to milk, wow. um, beans to um, produce, fresh produce. Sure, yeah. fresh produce, absolutely. Um, and then when available, uh, we purchase meat and extra milk as well to okay. distribute. Uh, currently, um, those things have become not quite av available for us to purchase, but as soon as they are available again, we will purchase those extra items. Okay. Yes. And, uh, and so it's a first come, first serve basis, I'm It assuming. is. Yes. Correct. You want to get there early if you, uh, you do. want to be yes. assured of, of taking home some yes. food. Okay. Uh, let's see. I was going to ask you, too, is this a year-round program or it is, is it just summer? Every Yes. Every, every month throughout the year, rain, snow. Sleet. That's awesome. Every Michigan type weather we are out there in. Yes. And who is eligible to take advantage of this? Do you have to live in White Pigeon? You do not. No, oh. we have we have community members from all over the area. And just like our White Pigeon community um, residents can go to other um, sites and okay. pick up food. I know there's one in Three Rivers yes. at the Husk Project. So. Yes, and so um, we have different um, members from surrounding communities come mm -hmm. every month to ours as well. Yes. Okay. Yep. How, do you uh, work solely with volunteers then as far as distributing mm -hmm. the food? We do, yes. I have a core group of volunteers um, that uh, work here at the school or retired from the school as well as a student um, that uh, has graduated but he comes every month and okay. um, and then also every month we ask different organizations different sports teams different service service organizations to volunteer we've had the library there That's to help right. mm -hmm. help us and um, it's really, it's a great opportunity. We've had our little league there and so you don't um, really have a problem in finding people to help. Uh, no, sometimes, the, um, there's just the core group there, uh, which is, is manageable, but it is really fun to watch, um, high schoolers and different people who don't normally get the opportunity to volunteer. Mm -hmm. This is a once a month volunteer opportunity that people really enjoy having that there. Okay. So, that's great. Yeah. Uh, as far as if someone wanted to donate, how would they mm -hmm. do? Do you need donations? I know you don't take food donations, but Correct. monetary donations. Yep. Would that go to the food bank or directly to your program? It can, it can do either or. So they can um, write the check at, at to White Pigeon Community Schools, and we can get it to mm -hmm. our direct program, or they can just support the uh, Southwest Michigan Food Bank in general. Okay. Um, and that is. Uh, 
how we have been able to sustain for uh, four years through not only that. private donations, but also uh, service organizations have donated and sponsored months. Um, and we also have gotten a grant from the Sturgis Area Foundation. Oh, that's great. And also through the, the Southwest Michigan Food Bank. Okay. Yeah. Sounds like an amazing program. It is. And, um, if anyone has any questions about it, you could feel free. Who would they contact? They would. They could contact me. Yep. Okay. Or us at the library. Or at the library. We know yep. what the date is. Sure. And, um, great. Anything yes. you want to add to that, Shelley? Just, it's an amazing. Um, you know, I'm so thankful that that Miss Erlinson got this started for us four years ago, and it's a legacy that she started that I'm hoping to to be able to continue. Um, and I know that throughout some other communities that might have stopped already, we are thankful uh, that we have had the support of our community and of, of donors to be able to continue this. Wonderful. Okay. Yes. Well, great job. Thank you. Thank you so much. Yes, thank you.